Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12, kasamang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, bidangagham! Ang ating body cells o somatic cells ay merong 46 chromosomes. Aside from the body cells, meron din tayong tinatawag na sex cells or reproductive cells, just like the sperm cell kung lalaki at egg cell kung babae. Sa makatagpuan ng sex cells or reproductive cells? They can be found sa reproductive organs ng male at females. These sex cells only have 23 chromosomes. If you can notice, kalahati lang ng chromosomes ang meron sa sex cells compared sa body cells. Why is this so? Remember fertilization? During fertilization, the sperm cell with 23 chromosomes and egg cell with 23 chromosomes combine to form a zygote with 46 chromosomes. And this is how life is conceived. From that zygote, we are born with body cells with 46 chromosomes each, the complete set. Now you might ask, Saan ba nang galing ang sex cells na merong 23 chromosomes? This is made possible by a specific type of cell division called meiosis. In our previous episode, we got to know about mitosis. In this Shansha Amazing episode, pag-uusapan natin ang isa pang process ng cell division which is meiosis. Meiosis happens in two parts. Merong meiosis 1 at meiosis 2. These two processes should happen before the sperm cells or egg cells are formed. After the preparatory or the interface, the cell undergoes meiosis 1 to form two daughter cells and then it goes on to meiosis 2 to form four daughter cells. Let's observe and identify the important processes happening in the steps of meiosis 1. We have four steps, prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1, and telophase 1. Simula natin sa prophase 1. In prophase 1, two significant events occur. Ang una ay ang synapsis o ang pairing, pagpapares ng mga homologous chromosomes. Ang homologous chromosomes ay dalawang chromosomes which are very similar in terms of size, shape, and most importantly, they carry the same type of genes. For example, they both carry the gene for height. After synapsis, crossing over occur. From the word alone, crossing over is when the homologous chromosomes exchange materials to one another. Let's take a closer look in the process of synapsis. In this picture, we can see that the homologous chromosomes have already paired up. We can see the duplicated maternal chromosome and the duplicated paternal chromosome. Synapsis causes the formation of a tetrad. Tetrad means that there are four sister chromatids in a set. In this case, we have two sister chromatids from the maternal chromosome and two sister chromatids from the paternal chromosome resulting in four chromatids which forms a tetrad. After that, the tetrad exchanges genetic material through a process called crossing over. After crossing over, you can now see that the homologous chromosomes have exchanged parts. Meron ng mga parts na nasa maternal chromosome which was originally in the paternal chromosome. 
In the same way, meron na tayong mga parts o genetic material which came from the maternal chromosome that is now on the paternal chromosome. Remember, these events all happen in prophase 1. Metaphase 1 happens next. In metaphase 1, the homologous chromosomes who have just finished crossing over line up at the center of the equatorial plate. Each chromosome is held by a spindle fiber. In this picture, we can see that this one is held by a spindle fiber just like this chromosome and also these two chromosomes. Since one spindle fiber holds one chromosome, in anaphase 1, one double-stranded chromosome o yung isang X moves to one pole of the cell. For example, this red one with the little blue moves to that side. The same goes to this one. And also, the chromosomes on the right side moves to the opposite pole and this one too. In the last part of meiosis 1, which is telophase 1, two nuclei are produced. If you compare the daughter cells to the original parent cell in prophase 1, merong apat na chromosomes ang original cell, pero sa daughter cells meron lang two chromosomes each. In other words, only half was passed from the parent cell to the daughter cells. If we apply it to humans, the original cell has 46 chromosomes, but after meiosis 1, meron na lamang 23 chromosomes each daughter cell. The process of sex cell formation doesn't stop in meiosis 1. It proceeds immediately to meiosis 2. It undergoes prophase 2. In this case, there is no synapsis or pairing of homologous chromosomes. There is no crossing over as well. It just proceeds just like how it would proceed in mitosis. Sa madaling salita, meiosis 2 is just like mitosis but it involves the formation of sex cells. After prophase 2, metaphase 2 occurs. The same lang, the chromosomes line up at the center. They are held by spindle fibers. And in anaphase 2, they are pulled apart to the opposite poles. Then in telophase 2, each daughter cell separates into two, forming four daughter cells after meiosis 2. Meiosis 2 results in the formation of four daughter cells with half the number of chromosomes from the original parent cell. Meiosis in females involve the formation of egg cells. From the primary oocyte, one ovum or mature egg cell is produced and three of them become polar bodies, then disintegrate. In males, meiosis results in sperm cell formation. Kung sa egg cell formation, three became polar bodies, in sperm cell formation, the primary spermatocyte produces four healthy sperm cells. Meiosis is very important because it ensures that the correct number of chromosomes will be passed from parent to offspring. It ensures that your egg cell or sperm cell only has 23 chromosomes, so that when the zygote is formed, it will just have the right number, which is 46 chromosomes. Bago tayo mag-short quiz, let's have a quick recap of what we have discussed in this Shansh Amazing episode. In this video, we talked about meiosis. We discussed meiosis 1, meiosis 2, egg cell formation in females, and sperm cell formation in males. And lastly, we talked about the general significance of meiosis for living organisms. It's good time! To check how much you have learned, we will have a short 3-minute quiz. After 3 minutes, we will check kung tama ang mga sagot niyo.
Time's up. Let's check if your answers are correct. Let's start with the first item. Pairing of homologous chromosomes and crossing over takes place in this stage of meiosis. This occurs during prophase 1. In prophase 2, these processes no longer take place. Sa prophase 1 lang. Number 2. Exchange of genetic material between maternal and paternal chromosome o yung mga chromosomes from your mother and your father respectively. nag exchange daw or nag crossing over. Number 3. A phase similar to mitosis. Is it meiosis 1 or meiosis 2? It is meiosis 2. Kasi sa meiosis 1, merong synapses and crossing over. Meiosis 2 is simply the division to form 4 sex cells. Number 4. It disintegrates during the formation of an egg cell. In females, only one egg cell is formed and the other three, called polar bodies, disintegrate. Last item, number 5, a group of four sister chromatids because of the pairing of homologous chromosomes. Medyo mahaba siya, so let's find the keywords. The phrase, four sister chromatids, apat na sister chromatids, indicates that the answer is a tetrad. Bakit merong apat na sister chromatids? It is because the homologous chromosomes have paired. Yung dalawang X na shape, they paired. So, it resulted to four sister chromatids lying side by side. That's about our quiz. Please comment your score over 5 in the comment section below. That ends our Shansh Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!